Here's some things you should know to help your chickens beat the summer heat. All these are just as important as each other, so I'm not sure what to start with, but we'll start with shade. So you want deep shade, double shade. So it'll be good to find where your coop or your run is located, have some foliage, some big trees that are gonna cast shade, and then to even double it up, have a roof or a shade cloth on your chicken run. So then you're getting, your chickens are getting deep shade. We notice that under our deep tree and with this shade cloth that it's actually much cooler in our chicken run than it is in our own patio. <laughs> Another thing that cannot be stressed enough, winter, summer, all the time, chickens need ventilation. We designed our coop in such a way that heat rises so the heat can be released with all this ventilation. It also allows for a breeze, some cross ventilation. Another way to keep them cool is to allow for a cool breeze, have a fan going in their coop or their common areas to to keep that breeze going because when the chicken is lifting up their wing feathers they're wanting to find that cool breeze to help cool down their body temperature. We even have our chicken coops fan hooked up to a remote control so we can turn it on from inside our house. H2O. Keep the waters cool. So and how we're going to do that is we're going to refill them often. Dump out the warm water because chickens do not want to drink the warm water. They will drink less water if it is warm. So refill them often or you can add ice to their waters to keep them cool. Another way to keep them hydrated is they're going to be expelling a lot of like their water through their droppings that you might notice they'll have watery diarrhea. So you need to add electrolytes to their water because it's kind of like chicken Gatorade and it is going to give them the vitamins they need. Another way to keep them cool, what we do is we wet down the ground in the shady areas when it's hot in the summer and what that's going to do is cause evaporative cooling. So we wet down the ground, keep it wet and then as it evaporates it cools them and then when it evaporates too the dirt stays cool and then it can take nice cool dust baths and that freshly wet cool dirt and that helps keep them cool as well. We refill all of our duck pools often and when we dump out the duck pool water it leaves these puddles everywhere and you can have little puddles for your chickens to stand in. It cools their feet, it cools down their body temperature. If you want you could even set up little pools with very shallow amount of water for the chickens can stand in. Not submerge their bodies but just for them to stand their feet in and do not ever wet a chicken though because they need to regulate their own body temperature and if you wet the chicken that impedes them from doing that. Cool hydrating treats. We love to give ours watermelon and boy do they love it. We love to give them melons, cantaloupe, mango, papaya, frozen or chilled berries, you name it, leafy vegetables, anything that's gonna get more hydration and more water into them is gonna be a big help and you may wanna avoid Carbs like corn, scratch, those things can raise the chicken's internal body temperature. So let's look for cool, hydrating treats this time of year. Some things you may notice is a drop in your chicken's egg production from all of that heat stress. You're gonna notice that your chickens are gonna have their wings up, they're gonna be panting to try to control their body temperature. <laughs> Chickens don't sweat. They actually regulate their body temperature through their combs, their waddles, their legs, and expelling it through their droppings. So because a chicken doesn't sweat, their warm blood flows through their combs and their waddles. That helps cool it, and then it gets returned to their body's interior. So a chicken's internal body temperature is anywhere from 104 to like 107 degrees Fahrenheit. So they're already really warm. The heat can be very dangerous to them. So. They're gonna be lethargic, but you're wanna gonna keep your eyes peeled and make sure that they're not going through like any sort of heat stroke. Keep them cool, take these tips because it's hard to bring a chicken back once they get to that. You wanna keep an eye out and take special consideration to see how those heavy heritage breed chickens are doing because they don't do as well in the summer heat as the Mediterranean breeds like the Lagern with the larger combs. The heavy bodied breeds with the big feathered bodies and the feathered feet and the shorter combs, they're not gonna be doing as well in this temperature, so make sure you're paying close Close attention to their welfare. I hope these tips help your chicken stay cool this summer. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time, guys.